Hi, I'm Chelsea. Have you ever noticed that sometimes they install those electrical panel boxes in the weirdest places inside a home? Well, over at my friend Jackie's house, she has one in her living room right next to the TV. She tried to cover it with a picture frame, but it was still off symmetry and a little awkward. So today we're going to try and fix that by creating two fabric panels. One to cover the breaker box and one to kind of even out the space. And we're going to make them from scratch. For this project, you'll need three eight-foot one-by-twos, a saw of your choice, here we're going to use a hand saw and a miter box, and you'll need a tape measure, two-inch wood screws and a pilot bit, a drill, a stapler, some Mod Podge and a foam brush, then a hammer to go with some wire nails, hinges, matching fabric, and your favorite family photos. So what we're going to do is create the frames first, and I think if we do two evenly sized ones, then we'll hang them on the wall right behind the TV, it'll look more natural, and then you won't even know that the electrical panel box is there. All right, first we're going to do is use this miter box. Have you ever used one of these before? No, and it is pretty handy. Dandy, I know, it's kind of it? weird yeah. looking. It looks like a toy. We'll be cutting a total of eight pieces for our two panels, four at 38 inches and four at 16 inches. And all of these will be mitered at 45 degrees on both ends so that we can neatly fit them together. I think they're getting there. Got the hang of it. Woohoo, there we go. Just pop right out. Let's see how good we did. You know, you can buy canvases already made or frames already made, but right. then they wouldn't fit your space that you have. Yeah, and I had kind of a Such a unique unusual, situation. Yeah. yeah. I, I've never seen one this size either. I think it would be hard to find. So we're going to use these two inch wood screws to put it together, but using it on this thin wood will make the wood split. So we'll start with a pilot bit and pre-drill it first. Do I get to do the power tool? If you want to, <laughs> go for it. If your screws are rounding out, a simple trick is to add some wax or regular bar soap to the screw threads. This will make them sink in with ease. All right, now we have our frames so we can pose like they do in those photo booths. <laughs> and I love the fabric. Oh, well, I hope so. You picked it out. It's good. I think it's, I, <laughs> I know, they but they go together well. They do coordinate that was really kinda, well. Yeah, that was a little challenge. There you go. You can be a interior designer now. Well, for the day, anyway. <laughs> Now we need to square the fabric with the frame. This step is key because if the pattern is lopsided, it can give the impression that the panel isn't straight when it's on the wall. We're starting on one of the shorter sides and we're stapling the fabric into place on the side of the wood rather than its face. That way the staple heads don't scratch the wall. Next, you'll wanna pull the fabric tightly across to the other short side and staple it the same way. Staple the long sides one at a time while keeping the fabric tight. So how long have you waited for your husband to build you a cabinet for this breaker box? Oh my gosh. 20 years? <laughs> 20 something and years? And here we are taking care of it in the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> this will be prettier than a cabinet door though. Now you'll want to staple the fabric at each corner. This part takes the most patience and finesse, but you'll get the hang of it pretty quick. The important part is lapping the fabric in several small sections so that the side you see will be wrinkle free. Me too. <laughs> Woo. Okay, here you go, a scarf. A pillow. We can make a pillow out of that. Well, you can make me a pillow out of it. I don't know. <laughs> I do not know how to sew. I can't make pillows, but that would be great. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can do that. That would be awesome. Great. I'll, I'll get right back to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it looks awesome. Oh, it does. So tight. On to the next one. Yep, here we go.
Now that the fabric is finished, it's time to add some personal touches. Jackie chose to add some family photos that she recently printed out. All right, what do you think, Chelsea? All right, so these are your three sons? Yes, that's the most recent picture I have. Of them. That's from a wedding in May. Oh, okay, yeah. family. Yes, wedding. my niece, Sarah, got oh, married in May. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, I like that. And since these panels are centered so much around her family, we also decided to add a C, which is the first letter of her last name. These cardboard letters, which we're also painting to match, are inexpensive, and you can find them at any craft store. The great thing about Mod Podge is that in addition to being a glue, it also acts as a sealer. So you don't have to worry about getting it on the face of your photos. In fact, if you do, it'll protect them even more. So what's going to be cool about this particular panel is that we're going to put hinges on it so that when you need to access your electrical box, it'll open up instead of having to take it off and put it back on. And I bought the really, really tiny. Little baby hinges, yeah, they are. they're cute. These tiny hinges will have a much smaller profile than standard hinges. And since these panels are so light, four of these will be more than enough to hold it in place. See what they look like. What do you think? I like them. I they, they look, look good. I think yeah. they look good together too. I think they look great. I think they're ready to hang. Let's go. The last step is attaching these panels to the wall. We're using one inch screws to attach the hinges. This will ensure that the screws sink into the stud behind the drywall, giving our panel a secure fit. Love it, Chelsea. I think it looks great. I think it looks awesome. I think we did a good job. I know. I've got so many projects to share with you, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next episode.